All right, well, welcome, ladies and gentle members of the Print Fam. If you're new, my name's Cam. Welcome to the Print Life. Let's roll that intro. It's Thursday, July the 5th, and it's 9.56 a.m. I hope you guys had a happy 4th of July. I know me and my girlfriend Jen did. Uh, here's what we're doing today. We took Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off. We, we made sure to get most of the stuff done, but we do have a handful of jobs that we gotta get taken care of today. We're gonna be using Matsui's new, uh, let me see what it's called here. This is the Super 75. And as far as I know, you can use that along with these pigments to mix up whatever colors you need and it'll be like a high opacity acrylic. I think I need to reach out to Jesse to figure out what my options are with that. He's the uh, Matsui rep. So let's do that first. Hey dude, this is Cam from Monument. I was wondering if I could mix, uh, you know the Super 75 stuff that you brought, the white, the high opacity acrylic? Oh, do I not have an acrylic? Oh shit, that's a discharge, see? Okay. Being able to print flash printing. Yeah, I'll probably be posting this video how it goes down tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> All right, man. Later. I was slightly mistaken on how you're supposed to use this system. I was going to use the Super 77 is actually their discharge white. So that's um, kind of a new product that I, I have never used before. What we're actually going to be using is this. Uh, Infinity RFU Trans White in conjunction with all of these pigments I have down here. If this works, this is awesome because this system just uses those little numbers on the Pantone book to mix to. So, let me find my book here. Apparently all you got to do is use this, which is your percentages. So you got 93.8, 3.10, 3.10. Okay, the first color is called Rubine Red. Let's see what we got here. It appears that we have the first one here. The next one is Pro Blue. Process Blue? Probably. We got Process Blue here. That's probably it, but let me see if there's something just called Pro Blue. Reflex, Dark. Yeah, let's start mixing some colors, huh? silicone spatulas lately it works better and we've been using these glass jars to stop wasting um plastic cork containers they actually work really well because they're smooth it's just a little more of a hassle to clean them up but now that i gotta admit man just in terms of mixing the colors that's pretty goddamn close it's not close actually as i'm looking at it a lot more on the reddish side of things and we want to be a little bit more on the blue side of the spectrum so i'm just going to add another touch of blue see what happens Add a little more blue. I think my percentages were off to begin with anyway. There we go. Now we're getting there. All right. We got it, it, it mixed up pretty close. This, these numbers aren't exact, but they get you in the ballpark, which kind of sucks. You know, you really do want them to be exact because uh, otherwise now you have to add like a little bit more blue, a little bit more blue, and you're testing it. And if you're not tracking how much more you're adding, it becomes difficult to recreate that color later on. So that, you know, it pisses me off, but it is what it is. We're gonna do our best. Uh, let's burn some screens. Oh, hey, check it out. I already ruined my white shirt. Don't sweat it, girls. I got more. All right, while we're waiting on that screen to dry, I got these ones that I also, oh shit, god, god damn it. Oh god, okay, uh, take two. We got all these films that I need to burn as well. That's that good shit. This is definitely the best flavor. Here's 
this game plan. Gonna set this up. I'm gonna do a print sample on one of his blank t-shirts. And uh, then I'm gonna have, I'm gonna give him a call. He's gonna come down, take a look at it. Uh, and he's either gonna sign off on it or we're gonna have to make some changes. Guess what guys, Jesse's here. He had a long, uh, what was that? Almost seven days off? Uh, five days. Yeah, five. Five days off. Now he's broke. <laughs> Gotta get back to work, make some money. Print flash printed, and uh, getting to the fucking light. And it's not working, it's just too, it's way too transparent. acceptable if you needed an opaque a really opaque print but this is actually pretty close to the look that my client was going for so all we really did was got lucky and this is just a sick looking setup I like it let's call my client and uh, have him come on down or I'm just gonna text him actually hopefully he doesn't want to change the color because to me it looks exactly like the thing uh, now let me just kind of give you a final review on this Infinity RFU system from Matsui. Uh, first and foremost, the Matsui rep, shout out to Jesse, he swung by and gave me this system. It's new for them and he just wanted me to test it out if I had time. No obligation, no shit like that. Here's my opinion. It's awesome. These are all ready to, ready to use. So the blues and the reds and shit like that, you can use them on their own. Most of them aren't any of the real true primary colors, so it's mainly a mixing system. Actually, that's kind of irritating as I think about it because it does need to also have some ready to use reds, blues, greens, all the primary colors, those need to be ready to go out of, out of the container as well. You need to have that as part of this Infinity series. That's first and foremost, all the primary colors. Um, what else, what else, what else? The trans white mixing base that you gave me would be great for overprinting on, a, on an acrylic white underbase or something like that, but a lot of us printers, sometimes we just want to mix up a color, do a print flash print because it's only 36 shirts. We don't want to have to underbase it. We want to do it with one screen. For this system to be able to do that, we're going to need a high opacity white or mixing white. If you can pull that shit off, then I'd say that I think you might be onto something here. So one of my favorite things, although it's not super accurate, is that you can just mix this formula based on the Pantone book measurements, the percentages that they give you. That's pretty damn cool. If you ask me, that's actually really cool. Um, that makes it a very viable system in a print shop because it's easier, it's one less step. So that may, you may be onto something with that. Anyway, uh, yeah, dude, thank you for the hookup. Uh, but let's let's get on that high opacity white mixing white mixing white acrylic. Blah 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 blah. blah. Y'all get it. Thanks, dude. Jesse is back there. Uh, Reclaiming screens, we need to reshock our dip tank because it's taking him like two hours to get fucking six screens done. <laughs> so we need to reshock that thing. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be setting up the press one. The coming weeks are gonna be interesting for us. Close this door. Very hard to film in here. Uh, the coming weeks are gonna be very interesting for us because um, two different clients need us to be at two different events in the same week. 
So this is gonna really push our, the limits of uh, how flexible we are in terms of travel and shit like that. So we just got the final approval for the, the uh, Monday event and then we have another event on Thursday, Friday. So we're gonna fly to the first one and, it's, and then we're just gonna fly directly to the next one. I'm excited to see how we pull this off. This will be the, the tightest stretch for us to date. So it should be good, I'm excited about it. What up, Rob? What's up, man? Not much, how are you? Good. All right. All right, Rob and I are just going over some final details, mainly on placement, right? He's getting confirmation yeah. from his lady if this is the right distance down from the collar. It looks great, though. Cool. By the way, look at those colors. That tone on tone is... It's so good. That's what's up. <laughs> okay, so at 3.5, that's about right here. Because 3.5 is, on average, for me, it's about four fingers to the top yeah. of the art. So that would put you about, oops, 3.5 would be about right there. Yeah, I like 3.5. Okay. 4.5 would be. It's pretty low. I yeah, it's kind of low, right yeah. yeah. And the more and more shirts I was looking at, it was. Yeah. All right, dude, thanks for coming Love down. It, man. Thanks for, thanks for working with us so we can yeah. test out this new ink. All right, Rob, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Later, buddy. Uh, I'm going to start separating the shirts, get the ink mixed up, or get more ink mixed up, and we'll get started on production. So we. hiccup during our pre-production for some weird reason like a little uh, spot showed up in the screen and we couldn't get it to clear so we had to burn another one reset it up and now we're getting started again so the reason I love screen printing so much everything just goes so smoothly I love it I just fucking love it it's a little hiccup we're gonna get back to production Just wrapped the violent, the violent, dude. I I gotta go to a fucking speech coach. We just wrapped the violent t-shirt. Violent. We just violent. We just wrapped the violet colored shirts. Now we're switching over to the gray tees. So it's gonna be a cool gray 11 on the print with a nice light warm gray on the garment. This is going pretty smooth. Are we ready to start, Jesse? Yeah. That's a good one. All right. shooting an Instagram photo right now. All right, we're making good progress on these garments. Once we're done with this one, we got some uh, tote bags to do for them. Uh, we also have a couple jobs we have to get done today. I don't really know why we did this one first, because this one's not due yet. I'm in the middle of mixing up a 7664 Pantone color using that same infinity system from Matt Suey. I've already put all the pigments in here, now I'm just stirring. Look how pretty. Ooh, all right, so far today we've done, well, two jobs and we're working on our third right now and it's 422. Ugh, it's not very good. Yeah, it's not so good. We're not making good time. We got to get back into the swing of things. Uh, the day before we left, we were like crushing jobs, man. So today's going to be okay, but we'll, we'll, we'll do better tomorrow. Uh, I just got word that we're tipping the, the fucking hot meter at 115 degrees of fiery goodness for me and Jesse to be working. And where's my little... I want to verify this. I saw it on Instagram. I want to verify. Nah, it's not right. Lies. So Instagram's a big fat fucking liar. It's actually a hundred. Temperature in here. Oh, it's a, okay, so it's a hundred degrees in the shop, dude. We fucking we eat a hundred degrees for breakfast. It's not even a problem. But let's see how hot it is outside. 
Probably not in focus. 100 degrees, man. Oh, 101. It's 101. Not that bad. Since we're comparing uh, temperatures, let me know in the comments how hot it is in your city and uh, the humidity levels. I'm interested to know. And if you don't got nothing to say or you don't know, just remember to type print fam in the comments. We need that interaction. That's how we're going to keep this thing growing. If it ain't growing, it's dying. And if it's dying, I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to... Uh... Hit up our Facebook group and see if there's any more questions I can answer in uh, the Q&A portion. What do you say? Okay, here's a question from Floyd Marshall Sr. Opinions on the starter kit from Ryanet. It's 600 bucks plus shipping. That's a lot of for money for me. Just wanted everyone's advice and opinion on this kit. Or maybe should I start with the single color kit first? What y'all think? Well, first off, dude, and I'm not a big shot by any means, but every time I go to the goddamn supply house, I spend $600 in ink. So that isn't, in the scheme of the screen printing world, that's not a lot of money. You will get used to spending that very, very quickly on supplies as you get more and more involved in this thing. But for now, dude, I'm just not, what does this come with? It comes with a four color press, no micros. So you're not, yeah, I, I would definitely just get the single color press because this is going to be hard for you to use anyway. Yeah. What up, bud? Uh, we have no more comment. Comment, we're out of comment white? Okay. Eh, hang on then. This is going to be a great opportunity to test out some new shit. This is the inaugural test with our Permacet Aqua white acrylic ink. So we're kind of doing a head-to-head -head competition between Matsui and Permacet Aqua. However, not really because they're two completely different jobs and they would have completely different results. So, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted in regards to this... Um, DIY print shop kit. I would definitely just get the single color uh, Because you're not gonna be able to register that four color anyway So if it shaves a few hundred bucks, just go with the single color uh, and then wait Save up and get a multicolor that actually has micro registrations later uh, But yeah, I think you'll always use like a single color press like that for something or you know you, it, You'll always have it around you can use it to do like uh, neck relabeling and shit like that If it saves a few bucks so hopefully that helps you, dude. I just hesitate pushing any of these starter kits. Um, and, you know, it's just they make me uneasy. So I don't really know. I don't have much of an opinion on it. Okay, here's an interesting one. Alfonso Bailey asks, How can I clean this old emulsion out? I have used this since I started and didn't really have an understanding of how important it was to clean up after each usage. It's very fucking easy if you have a dip tank. Uh, if you don't have a dip tank, you're just going to need to use straight reclaiming uh, emulsion degrader or emulsion remover uh, you're gonna have to let that thing soak in it for a little while and it'll get to where you can scrub it right off we've had to do it a few times when you have careless employees that don't clean up after themselves a little bit later this is the last question of the day it's in regards to some business stuff this is from Josh friend and his quest says it's a it's in real it's in in hmm <laughs> let's let's get it out of there bud come on let's fire it off Tax question for everybody. We are a newly formed LLC and I was wondering how everyone handles their taxes. Do you use an accountant, tax software, etc.? Uh, I handle it and I used to use QuickBooks, hated it. Uh, I tried Zero, hated it. Uh, and now I have recently found a service from a, you know what? They're not the best service, they aren't super timely, but they're extremely affordable on a monthly basis. And they do come with both a bookkeeper for your monthly expenses and an end of the year actual certified certified CPA to review and file your taxes for you. And it's a very affordable fee. We're talking like 150 bucks a month affordable. Um, if you're not even there yet, like if you're just starting and that's something you can't swing, and I'm telling you, if you go find an accountant or a CPA or a bookkeeper, they're going to charge you $900 to $1,000 a month minimum. So it's a smoking deal. And I'm actually going to do a, a review on that company coming up. But the name of the company is called Mizuma. So look into them. If not, dude, you're going to just have to go with QuickBooks or FreshBooks. You're going to put all your sales in and all that kind of shit. And as far in regards to sales tax, I have something built into my system that lets us know our total revenue minus anything, any invoices from tax exempt clients so that we don't accidentally include a tax exempt invoice in our gross revenue for the month. My system handles that so that I don't fuck it up because otherwise I would fuck it up. All right, update. We have managed to get through 
three different projects and he's moving on to the fourth. This is a small one, it's only 12 pieces, but that keeps our numbers up. It's 528, we got 30 minutes to get this done and it'll be six and then, you know, whatever. These are the kind of little things that just make screen printing it's irritating as fuck. Because, you know, you have the dryer set up for cotton, but then when you're trying to low bleed it so that you don't get polyester bleeding it. Dude, I just picked my ear while I was talking. That's disgusting. So that you don't get the dye migration in the ink, you gotta remember to adjust the temperature on the thing, and if you've already inked your screens or if you're testing it, you're gonna have problems. It's always a big problem. Everything's a problem. Where are we at temp wise here? Eh, hey, 340 fucking degrees. Scorching heat. I'm, I'm on fucking Instagram right now. This is Soul Fart Screen Printing. Soul Fart. Okay, Soul Fart Screen Printing. And there, they made a video and it said the print life on it. Hey man, that's a registered trademark, bitch. <laughs> Might want to think twice. I'm gonna send my lawyers after you to, uh, oh, Indonesia. Hey, do you like it? Yeah, fucking like it. So far, our inaugural Permaset Aqua Test on uh, polyester. This has been hit three times just to be safe. We didn't do any kind of bleed blocker. We just low cured it. So far, so good. We got no bleeding going on. Is Permaset Aqua the answer? I don't know, but it looks like it might be. Anyways, it's uh, 6 14 p.m. So we are officially closed for the day. Uh, Jesse's gonna start cleaning up. I'm gonna do some end of the day shit and then I'm no, I think we could pretty much tie a bow on today and be proud of what we accomplished and look forward to tomorrow. So, y'all know what to do. Take care of yourselves, print fam. Hey, peace out. Uh, hey, before I go, I just want to make one more little note, and we noticed it just out of the blue, but that premise that smells like blueberries. Yes!